Good day, one and all. Thank you for joining us here at WSKI TV 17. Year-round, you can see this forecast for the main High Peaks region at our website, WSKITV.com. Our weather brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Pay them a visit in the village. And for Sunday, we'll finish the weekend off with mostly sunny skies. Might be a few clouds coming in later or a few snow showers overnight. 4 to 8 up top tomorrow. The base, 12 to 16. So a little bit warmer. We'll hopefully take the winds away to be able to run Timberline, but it does look like there will still be a bit of a summit breeze on Sunday and again on Monday, but a little bit warmer on Monday, 13 to 17 up top, 24 to 28 at the base, although we will see more clouds. Hopefully a snow shower or two. We'll take whatever we can get Tuesday. 50% chance of snow as we see how close that system will get to us. 29 at the base, 14 up top, partly sunny for Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday, 31 at the base and 15 at the summit, 34 on Thursday at the bottom of the mountain and 18 up top. So getting nice and mild towards the end of the week. Take advantage of it. Hope you can skip school and be here to enjoy all the fresh powder. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions for Sunday. 117 trails and trail sections now open for skiing and riding. That includes a bit of terrain over in Bracket. We have powder and packed powder out there for you. Groomers are going to do another bang-up job everywhere around the base area. Served by Snubber at 8 o'clock, Sawduster and Skidway at 8.30. Also doing plenty of work in the center part of the mountain for all abilities. 8.30 for Super Quad Skyline and a Double Runner. 8 o'clock start for West Mountain and 9 o'clock start for Timberline up top. Tune into our live show and we'll see how the wind is. Hopefully that can operate no problem. 8.30 also for the east side lifts. King Pine and Wiffle Tree getting you over there nice and early. The corduroy will be sweet if you're looking for groom trails. Snowmakers still enjoying a bit of a break. Terrain park guys, not so much. Every night they work on the terrain parks to get them just right for you. And the groomers, Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote, Kings, Hayburner, Haywire, Comp, Gage, Sluice on the list, Wedge, Nitro Below, Spillway Crosscut, Go-Go Line, Lower Winter's Way, and all the trails at the base area. East Side, Hallback, Widowmaker, Flume, Ramdown, Wiffletree, Two Hall, Cruiser, Springboard, Slasher, Rollway, and Moose Alley on the West Side, Scoop, Windrow, Horseshoe, West Mountain, and Good Chance. At the outdoor center, the skating rink is in top shape if you want to do some skating tonight. Great way to keep warm. The lights are on until 8 o'clock. And cross-country skiing is fantastic with all this new snow. They have the trails groomed in great condition for you. Not so much for the fat tire biking. So if you can help them out by doing some snowshoeing of the single track, that would be just marvelous. And because of that, they have postponed the fat tire race that was going to be on Sunday. will now be on Sunday, February 20th. Hopefully, things will be just right for fat tire biking then. As far as the snowmobiling is concerned, it is excellent. All the trails groomed out by the Iron Trail Snowmobile Club are riding fast and fun. Please remember to stay to the right, and the groomer always has the right of way, obviously. If you want to see what's going on, tune into our live show on Channel 17. 7.30 in the morning is when we kick that off. We're also streaming live, so you can watch from anywhere. And you can stay in touch through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So you can know before you go with WSKI. Rest up. Another great day on the hill on Sunday, and enjoy the snowmobiling around the region, too.